water safely. Don't worry. I'm sure we remembered everything we need for the picnic, Stanley. Oh, boy. A picnic by the ocean. Okay, everybody. Stick together and follow me. Here we are. Now, let's see if we can find a picnic table. Do you see a picnic table? If you do, shout. There's one. Good job, Marcy. Did you find the picnic table, too? Hey, Stanley, what do you think's on that island over there? I don't know, but I can find out by looking through my stanoscope. It's a picnic table. On an island? Cool. But how can we get there? I know. We could build a bridge. Yeah, or you could fly there in a giant hot air balloon. Flight number one, now boarding for Picnic Island. Welcome aboard. Today we will be cruising at an altitude of 20 feet. Please put your seat back in the upright position and prepare for landing. Cool. Or we could go on a submarine. Island dead ahead, Captain. Shall I prepare the picnic baskets? Wait, I see something. We don't have a bridge, a balloon, or a submarine. But we do have a rowboat. We do? Cool! Mom, can we take the rowboat out to the island and eat there? Hmm. I don't see why not. It sounds like fun. Oh, boy! Yay! Cool! I'll just stop by the boathouse and sign out the boat. And get more life vests for everybody. Life vests? But life vests are hot! And uncomfortable. Mom, do we really have to wear life vests? Sorry, guys, but if you want to go on the boat, you have to wear one. Do we have to? Oh, man. Mrs. Griff, what's a life vest? This is a life vest. It's something you wear that helps you float in the water. But we're not going in the water. Well, no, but you should make sure to wear a life vest any time you're on a dock or in a boat. So if you do fall in by accident, you'll float. Now, you guys wait here. I'll be right inside if you need me, and I'll be able to see you through the window. Okay, Mom. I don't need a life vest. I don't need help floating. I'm a good swimmer. Me too. Dad says I swim like a sea otter. Yeah. And you never see sea otters wearing life vests. <laughs> Because they're great swimmers. They eat, play, and sleep in the water. Really? Wow! Hey, they're the perfect animal to teach us how to swim without life vests. Great idea, Marcy. Cool. Yippee! Yeah. Let's learn more about them in the... No! Oh. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What am I saying? Oh, we're certainly far enough from Harry and Elsie to avoid their usual serenade. In fact... The Great Big Book of Everything! It's the Great Big Book of Everything With everything inside See the world around us This book's the perfect guide How about you two get lost at sea? Levi's never wear a vest Too busy, they'll just turn to air. <laughs> Hey, Marcy, what's that noise? Oh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Here it is, sea otter. They're really cute. Let's see what they can teach us about swimming in the ocean. What's that green stuff, Dennis? 
Well, Stanley, I believe that's kelp, and we are looking at a kelp forest. Kelp forest? Kelp forests are sort of the rainforests of the sea. They are? Cool! Many sea otters live in kelp forests. At night, sea otters wrap themselves in kelp. It acts as an anchor for the sea otter and keeps them from drifting away with the ocean current while they sleep. They sure are furry. Absolutely correct, Lester. The sea otter has the thickest fur in the animal kingdom. An adult may have up to one billion hairs. A billion? Unlike other marine mammals, such as whales, manatees and seals, the sea otter doesn't have a layer of fat to help keep it warm in very cold waters. Instead, the sea otter's thick fur catches air bubbles. The air bubbles keep the otter's body heat from escaping. And the trapped heat keeps the sea otter warm. Oh, I've got to get a closer look. Stanley, can I borrow your stanoscope? Sure. baby sea otter is called a pup, Mimi. Some pups can swim within a few weeks of birth. Wow, I couldn't swim until I was four years old. Although they're natural swimmers, they still get some help. The pups have extremely thick fur, thicker than the adults. And more fur means more air bubbles. With all that trapped air, they stay afloat. Can you guess which object will float? The beach ball or the bowling ball? The beach ball floats. There's air inside, just like the air gets into the sea otter's furry coat. Can you think of other things that float? An inner tube. A bowl? Yes, indeed. What are they doing? The mother is teaching her pup to dive. Many pups begin to dive at just two months old. What happened? I'm afraid that pup's fur did too good a job at keeping it afloat. When a pup first learns to dive, its air-filled fur may cause it to pop back up to the surface. Just like you would in your life vest. <laughs> Of course, even as adults, the sea otter's thick fur continues to trap air bubbles, helping them to float as well as stay warm. The sea otters are good swimmers and they still have something that helps them float? That's right, Marcy. They're just like us. Sea otters use their fur to help them float, just like we use life vests. Wow, that's sort of cool. Life vests aren't bad after all. Maybe, but are you sure wearing a light vest will ruin our fun? Well, let's take another look at the sea otters. They're sure having fun. Hmm, I guess you're right. They are having fun. <laughs> yeah, they're having an otter party. They sure are. If wearing a light vest is anything like being a sea otter, I can't wait. Everybody ready? Who wants a life vest? Me! Me! me. Oh, yes, me too. Okay, we are ready to go. All we need to do is untie the boat from the dock. Do what? Well, Lester, when you're not using a boat, you should keep it tied to the dock. That way you can't float away in the ocean current. Hey, that's just like the sea otter. They wrap themselves in kelp at night so they won't float away. Sea otters do that? Wow. Where'd you learn that, kiddo? In the... Great, Great Lake Lake of, of Everything! everything. <laughs> <laughs> I sure I'm glad we decided to wear a life vest. 
So am I, Stanley. Wearing a life vest is a very important part of boat and water safety. Yeah, I thought sea otters didn't need help to float. But they do. Yes, indeed. <laughs> they have the thickest hair in the animal kingdom. And it's filled with air bubbles, and that helps them float. And they float so well that at night they need to wrap themselves in kelp to keep from floating away. I'm glad we don't have to sleep in water, Dennis. Ahem. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. Well, I'm glad I don't have to. I guess it's okay for you, because, you know, you're a fish. <laughs> it's quite all right, Stanley. Sleeping in water suits me just fine. Since you're in a bowl, you don't have to worry about floating away at night. <laughs> no, indeed. Ah, good night now, Stanley. <sighs> good night, Dennis. Ow! I hate it when that happens.